Good morning. This is your Tuesday's thought of the day. I uh, hope you're all well. I uh, hope you're not all kind of losing the plot whilst you're in isolation. I know it can be hard, stuck indoors. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I want to start by talking a bit about this this film, Hacksaw Ridge. I don't know how many of you have seen it. Uh, it's a, f a fantastic film, a uh, very moving, touching film. And it's set in the um, Second World War. Uh, there's this private, Desmond Doss. Um, he's a Christian and a pacifist. He doesn't want to take up arms and he doesn't want to kill anyone, uh, which he gets a lot of stick for in the film. Um, then, yes, they had this tremendous battle on Hacksaw Ridge, which is on a Japanese island. And um, yeah, many, many casualties. And uh, they kind of escape. But then what does this guy do? He goes back. He goes back to save the wounded soldiers. He's because he was, he was put in the medical corps. So he goes back and he goes back again and he goes back again, risking his own life, bullets flying, bombs blown up. Yeah, he risks his own life and he manages to save 75 men. Incredible. Uh, you know, at the risk of his own life. Uh, he ends up being a hero, awarded the Medal of Honor. And yeah, it was a fantastic movie, very moving, touching to me because it, it, it spoke to my heart about how perhaps we should also be laying our lives down for others, um, particularly those lost. And it makes me think about the NHS and the doctors and the nurses. Yeah, we recently all went out and clapped them, which was very moving. I know lots of people in Lady Shop went out and they clapped them. Um, but yeah, they deserve a big clap. Having worked in the NHS, I know what they're going through. And yes, they are real, real heroes. These doctors, nurses, carers, ambulance crews, all those people involved, they're real heroes, laying their lives down. Uh, in this difficult time and yes and some of you may be asking about myself like they know that I'm a doctor um, I was been retired for just over four years um, well yes they they've recalled doctors that were retired three years or less they sent them a letter so I haven't received a letter about going back uh, to to be a doctor. Uh, it's not something I discount. Um, I've prayed about it. I've thought about it. Uh, if the Lord lays it on my heart, I, I would go back. Um, but at the moment, I, I, I haven't felt the right. And also, I haven't received a letter um, because there'd be probably a fair bit of training involved to get me up to speed. So... I just thought I would uh, talk about that because some people may be thinking about that. I want to finally talk about Jesus um, because he is the good shepherd that laid down his life. As we saw um, Desmond Doss laying his life down for others, we know that Jesus uh, laid his life down uh, for us. It makes me think of the good, sh you know, he's our good shepherd who lays his life down for the sheep. I want to read a bit from John chapter 10. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and they, they shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. See, Jesus went into battle for us. He was almost killed a number of times before finally being crucified. And he died that we may have life. Um, Desmond Doss, yes, he laid his life down and he saved 75 men. Uh, a great act of valour, bravery. But Jesus Christ laid down his life and He's saved untold millions, if not billions, 
will be saved by his act on the cross. He is absolutely our hero. He's the captain of our faith. He's the commander in chief of the army. And he is an absolute example to us. And Jesus was in a way given a medal of honor by the father. He was exalted to the highest place and he was given the name above every name. That's our Jesus for you. He is our hero. He is our savior. He is our Lord. He is everything to us. So I hope that helps you and encourages you at this time, gives you something to think about. And uh, yeah, I, I would encourage you to read, to, to watch that um, DVD. If you can get it, if you want to borrow it from me, then, um, well, when all this coronavirus stuff finishes, um, I can lend it to you. Uh, but it's, it's available to watch online. So let me finish by saying a blessing over you. Uh, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Thanks for watching.